What's up everyone? Day number six here of the speed run at 398 at the moment. Um, yeah, we've been having a lot of uh, fun with the speed run. Uh, and slowly and surely, slowly but surely, we're getting over to 2000 and beyond. Let's get into it. All right, playing Heskiero, is that from the Philippines or Czech Republic? I already made this mistake. Okay, Philippines. For C5, we have the Sicilian defense. The very classic Sicilian defense. And uh, yeah, here we'll play knight c6. Bishop g2. Bishop g2 is quite interesting. Bishop g2. Yeah, Bishop g2 is quite interesting. What are we going to do here? This, this is very interesting. I'll play d6. He's going for a kingside fianchetto. h3. That's weird. Uh, today we're going to go over a special way that you can try to beat people who play these early fianchetto systems. This is definitely dangerous. This is not for the faint of heart. I like throwing my h-pawn right up the board at them. And normally it works. We're going to see what happens here. I got some cold coffee here. Cold cup of joe from yesterday. It's viciously bitter. Pushing h4. Um, his best response here is g4. If he takes... Okay, g4, very interesting. Um, I'm going to go for the classic crab... I'm trying to think of a, a proper word. I'm trying to... I'm going to go for the classic... Uh, the classic pincers grab on the f4 square. This this position is a bit silly now. It's almost like the position my pawn structure is like an auditorium almost, in which uh, my pawns are seated around an important lecture. Um. Yeah, this is this is tricky. <laughs> I'm definitely playing in a weird way. I'll play b six. This, yeah, scratch this from the record. This this game is just bananas. I, I definitely, um, <laughs> I was definitely just fanning the flames here just for the, just for the, the jokes. Um, what are we gonna do here? Play knight e7. I don't wanna play knight e5 or knight d4. I don't wanna trade this knight off. I think the knight, I spent the, my entire, the entire purpose of my pawns being where they are are to dominate this knight. I do not wanna trade it off. Okay, I'll put the knight on g6. Put my king on f7. All right, 92. What is 92? Put my rook on h7. I don't know what's going on here, guys. This 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 game, we've fallen into some type of chess multiverse here. Where up is down and down is up. But the bird is the bird. And the bird will always be the bird. All right, bishop d2. What what is happening here? Well, like, <laughs> just where are my pieces going? I'm gonna, I'll put my pawn on b5. I'm I'm gonna aim for rook b7. Well, I'm slowly gonna keep expanding. This reminds me of a famous game between Botvinnik and Tall, where neither side really moved any of their, neither side really fought against the other, and uh, I forget what what game it was, but it was um it was the match that Tall. No, it was the match that Petrosian ended up winning. It was a game between Petrosian and Botvinnik from 1963. And one of the commentators just really hated the game. And he just said, I, he, he said something along the lines of he, that they've pretty much just ignored each other's existence. And that's what's happening here. I'm playing my game and my opponent's playing his. What is he doing? 
Putting his knight on g1. Queen on e2. Okay, I'll play king f7. This is really interesting. <laughs> this is really amusing, honestly. Okay, c4. Um, yeah, I think sooner or later I do need to break through. I'm going to take here. I'm taking people. It's time to go. I'm going to take on b2 next with a glorious position. All right. I guess not. I'm gonna take here. I'm gonna put, just gonna swap my rook back to e7. Got a pin. Bishop e3. I'll play bishop a6. I'm slicing through here, slicing and dicing. Let's put that in on f4. Yeah, that game between Petrosia and Botvinnik that I'm thinking of, that had a profound impact on me. Very interesting game. Really cool game that, uh, that really influenced my style. This position is bananas. Right here, uh, I really like the idea of knight g2. Trying to take on e3. Trying to take on e3 and scoop up some goodies. Trying to scoop up all the candies. Okay, I'll take. Play queen b6. Rook is going to come to e8. Uh, black should be completely winning here. White's king is just way too weak. And uh, beyond that, when I play rook e8, I'm going to be lasering down on two really serious weaknesses here. Um, at the moment, my, my bishop is completely blocked, but I'm hoping that, that my opponent doesn't have enough time to make that relevant. And I guess eventually my bishop could come out to e7, d8, and a5 after I play a4. It's time to go. It's really time to go. Yeah, this is the first long game I think I've had in the speed run. This is the first like strategically important game in the speed run. Kudos to this guy, Hesquiero. Hesquiero, oh, this guy's playing very well. He's playing much better than 400. I'll play king g7, get my king out of the way. Yeah, I would easily say that this guy's playing at like a 1200, 13, 14, 1500, maybe even 1700 level. He, he has not made any blunders. Maybe not 1700, that's definitely a stretch, but like 1200... I don't know. I mean, normally when I say something like that, though, they immediately blunder. So perhaps we'll, we'll see how the game goes. The game could get interesting. Man, you know what's crazy? The, the crazy thing is, is I really love it here in Brazil, but I just, I have such a craving now for uh, Americanized Chinese food. Um, y'all who are back in America, y'all know what I'm talking about. American Chinese food is fantastic. And keep in mind, I'm saying American Chinese food. When, if, you, if you've been to China, uh, you're going to know that Chinese food there is very different from Chinese food in America. But man, Chinese food, American Chinese food is just so delicious. It's scrumptious. All right, I'm going to get my king out of the way. I'm just continuing to dilly-dally out. I'm going to put my bishop on g7. And finally, maybe I could play f5. But if I do that, then my this pawn is hanging with a check. I probably should have put my king on h6 then. King should have gone to h6. Yeah, this is a very slow game to start off. If all the games last this long, it's literally going to take like a million years to finish the speedrun. 
it's gonna take so long. I'm shocked at how well this guy is playing. That he has not blundered anything yet. Something's up. Something's in the water in the Philippines. Maybe it's just also the fact that I'm I'm starving for General So's chicken and an egg roll. What 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 else do they call it? Cashew chicken with broccoli? Man, that stuff is all so delicious. Yeah, it's garlic chicken with broccoli. That's what I'm thinking of. Garlic chicken. What I would do for some garlic chicken right now. Brazil has some Chinese food, but they just they they don't do it the same way. It's not the same at all. They don't have the the variety of spices. The variety of flavors. All right, we're waiting here. This guy played extremely well. I would definitely be pulling a Kramnik on this guy if he was playing these moves quicker. But given that he's not, I'll uh, I'll be more merciful. Two minutes. I don't think we've gotten a flag yet on the speed run. Yeah, we have. We have yet to get a flag. <laughs> we have yet to get a flag in the speed run, but there's a first time for everything. All right, we're waiting here. I mean, I'm, I, as you guys can tell, I'm just trying to make conversation while we wait. I really, I love these pawns. Look at these pawns. These pawns are just completely hemming in the enemy knights. Uh, it, unfor it is unfortunate that my bishop is locked in by those same pawns, but even so, it paints a pretty picture. Like, if the knight could get to f5, I would be in massive trouble here. Okay, there's a blunder. I was really over. I was waiting for it. Like, there's no way someone is 400, and it's not gonna at some point slip up somewhere. All right. Uh, we'll play. Should I play Queen B5 now? No. Then he plays Rook F2, and he sort of holds on. Let's just play Rook takes E2. Just take. We'll take back. Um, and uh, I want to open up the board for my bishop. I'm gonna play F5 here. My knight can also finally get out. His knight is still dominated, though. He's in trouble. Yeah, my queen with my bishop and my knight, there's going to be some quick checkmate here. It's really going to be time to go. It is really time to go. Right there, we'll play knight e4. Is he going to keep running this way? I hope he keeps running that way. He needs to run into the fire with king e3. King e th I got a very sneaky trick here. Look at this. I'm going to play bishop. I'm going to play bishop g7. He ta he takes and then I go for mate. Take it. He know yeah, he know he he can't resist a knight. All right. There we go. 406. We've crossed the 400 mark. Playing Fawad, uh, hmm, what, what flag is that? Uh, that flag is either Qatar, I think that's Qatar, or Bahrain, but I'll, I'll go with Qatar. Nice! Nice, okay, we got a copycat bird. Knight of three. It's time to go. It's really time to go. This is knight h6. I've never, I, I just have, I've never seen anything like this. Play e4. Yeah, this looks fantastic. This is fantastic for white. Knight c3. Takes I take. Okay, yeah, I mean, this knight is just terrible here. 
I'm just going to continue normal development. I guess bishop e3, his knight sort of comes out to a good score, though. I guess... No, I'll play bishop e3. If he plays knight g4, I play bishop g1, and I'm just... I'm going to boot it back eventually. He plays bishop h4. Um, that does not do anything, though. I'm just going to... just going to completely wall him in. What's the plan here? Okay, I'm going to continue walling. Continue the walling process. Yeah, his bishop keeps going back. I play queen d2. We're going to castle. Throw in d4. d5. d5 is a good move. Um, d5 is a very good move because now the game gets very closed. And if the game gets closed, I might not have any winning chances. I'm going to take here. Takes. I'll play d4. Perfect time to play d4. I'm opening up the board. Um, I'm attacking several weaknesses. Also, his knight has been really misplaced here. The only problem with this would have been that the knight could come to e4, but here his knight is on a really bad score of h6. It's no issue here. It's time to go. Knight f7. All right. Um, I could definitely scoop up the pawn. Yeah, scooping up the pawn makes the most sense. Let's go for it. Who could resist the scoop? We'll move the bishop back. Castle queenside. Take with the pawn, hit the bishop. Probably drop my bishop out to c4. Yeah, this is unbelievably uncomfortable for him now. All I need to do is castle queenside. Like, his king is just completely stuck in the center. Um, I feel like that should be a blunder, but I can't figure out why. Okay, I'll just take here. If he takes with the knight... Takes with the knight, that's a little dicey. Look at that. If I take with the if I take the rook, he hits me with knight f3. So I can't do it just yet. But if he takes with the knight, I'll just castle queenside. Everything will be fine. He takes there. See, yeah, that's the move. Those are, these are the types of moves I was expecting last game. Um, here I will take the rook. Um, this is a this is a, a rare moment where the GM move and the 300 move is more or less the same. If he takes here, that would be the best, because if I take with the queen, then he hits me with knight f3. All right. A no-go. Should I trade the queens? I guess I have to. Yeah, I shouldn't... Yeah, what, what am I doing? I'm just trying... I, I'm so worried about how long the speed run is going to take that... I'm, I'm like legitimately worried that it's just going to take uh, that if I don't checkmate my opponents quickly. But the whole idea of the speedrun is to bask in the learning process, to bask in the bird. What is that move? I'm just going to take more and more pieces. Yeah, I'm astounded at the way the last guy played. The, the fact that the last guy the last guy played like 30 moves and he was only he was he was worse but he wasn't like completely hopelessly lost very impressive game by that guy okay i'll take here i'm threatening checkmate in two now knight f6 and bishop h6 will he spot it he has to move the knight to get out of it okay he doesn't so we got him it's time to go. It's time to go. There we go. All right, 414. 414, we're getting up there. E4, C5, we have the Sicilian. I have yet to see an open Sicilian. Have not seen any open Sicilian yet. Are we gonna see it now? Is this the time? D3, no. No open Sicilian. Queen h5, knight f6. He's going to take this pawn. He thinks he won a pawn. He did actually win a pawn, but I'm going to play e5 and d5 with fantastic compensation. All right, he's not going for that. I'm going to just keep on getting tempi on his queen. All right. Uh, so this is the cool thing. A lot of people think that when the queen comes out, they have to uh, to attack the, the queen. You could do that. You can also just attack the square that he's missed. He's missed this square. He has nothing defending this natural score anymore. So we're just going to attack it. It's really that simple. Okay, that is not a good move. 
This guy is really... I don't know what's up with this guy. This guy's playing a thousand times worse than the guy I played the first game, so I'm, I'm just astounded at the, the variance in level here. We got the queen, people. We got him. King e3? I'm wondering if I have a checkmate. I definitely do have a checkmate here, but it would be better... Should I play bishop f5? Bishop f5 looks even nicer. I'll just take the queen. Really nothing to worry about. Take the queen, be happy. He is in so much trouble here. King c4. Alright, yeah, I think he's going to get mated now. King c3, I play queen a5 with a quick mate. King c5, I have queen d6. Alright, perfect. Perfect. 422, we're getting up there. Time to keep going with the bird. Playing Dangerous Quip, I like that name. Dangerous Quip from India. f4, d5? This guy knows the bird theory. Three, we've seen three moves of theory. This is the record. Three moves of theory. All right, so here we get the bird. We have a classic pin, bishop on b5. They play bishop g4. From what I remember, we play h3 here. Whenever they play bishop g4 in the bird, we pretty much always play h3. Plays bishop d7, but that he just gave me a free tempo then. I don't understand that. I'll play b3 here. I'm going to castle, play bishop b2. So this is, a, this is a really interesting position. This is the one situation in which you don't exchange because their pawn is not on c5 and their bishop is on d7, meaning you're not going to double the pawns. And uh, like one of the big things here is that um, if you just retreat, then all of these pieces look really silly. The knight is blocking the pawn. It's also blocking the bishop. The bishop is blocking the queen. Bishop's blocking the knight. Nothing makes sense here for them. Bishop c5, all castle. Very nice position here. Um, he should castle as well. Okay, h6. I'm going to play c4. I really like c4 as an idea. The idea is that we're threatening just d4. We're going to just play to, to completely shadow the bishop in with d4 and c5. Um, like every other game I'm playing, we're going for domination. Okay, that, that should be very loose. There, something is going to give way there. Yeah, something's got to give here. Could play rook h6. Rook h6, I'm thinking about bishop h5. Okay, e5. Interesting move. Very interesting move. I'll play knight c3, hitting these squares. Very weak squares now. Um, I'm real. I'm seriously considering a, a sacrifice on f6, which would grant completely full control over those squares. Something like rook takes f6, followed by knight e4, followed by knight d5. Okay, knight g8, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. We got him, people. We got him. It's time to go. Oh man, I cannot wait. I literally, I move out of this Brazilian village in like two days. And uh, yeah, when I move out of this Brazilian village, I can finally get an actual chair and not have to be stooped over, <laughs> over this, uh, this like bar stool, this bar stool styled seat. Yeah, my back has been killing me. All right, we'll take the queen, be happy. Okay, we're just gonna keep taking the pieces. I'm taking the whole house here. All right, nice, 4.30, we'll keep it going. I think I'm gonna play one more game. Yeah, that first game was so long, that first game was like 20 minutes. Knight c3, knight c6. Um, we could also just play e6. I, I'm thinking now e6 is what, uh, e6 is the normal repertoire I've been recommending. d4 would be theory. Wow, very nice, this guy knows the theory. Now we're seeing four moves of theory. 
slowly but surely as you rise the ranks, people know more and more theory. Queen C7. Very impressed with a uh, Jaguar, for real. Very good player. Bishop e5, that, uh, that is not that good a move. But it's not that bad, though, at the same time. It is a developing move. I really want to play for tricks. I used to do this when I was playing in the park for money, um, like when I was a kid. And it was I would set my bishop and queen up like this and just play for checkmate. Um, okay, e5 is not good. That is a blunder. Hitting the knight hand, the bishop hitting the king with a check. Yeah, white is in white is in serious trouble here. White is in really serious trouble. It's time to go. It's truly time to go. Knight e2. Okay. And I can't take the bishop just yet, but look at this. I can take. His knight is pinned. I can't take back. He'll have to take with the queen. And then I can take the bishop. This is perfect. This is great. Yeah, just up a full piece here. I'm quite tired. I'm really looking forward to going to this uh, this Brazilian buffet for lunch. It's not American Chinese food, but it's close. It's very good. It's this huge buffet, um, and unlike American all you can eat, the food is the food is very good. The food is high quality. I'm just picking up more pieces. Taking more and more pieces. He should play bishop a3 to get his bishop out, but I mean, down two pieces, the, the position's already hopeless. Um, okay, we'll just develop normally, bishop e7. This guy has played one of the most normal positions I've seen yet, though. He blundered a few pieces, which was not good, but in terms of normal development, in terms of castling and everything else, uh, this is one of the first times we're seeing someone really play in accordance with the principles. It's quite, a, it, it, this is so interesting for me to see as like we just go through the ranks to see the incrementally uh, stronger and stronger players and stronger playing styles. Um, all right, castling would be completely fine. I like bishop c5 a lot though. Bishop c5 pushes the queen away and there are gonna be a lot of tricks here associated with f2. Um, objectively, I also, I'm not just playing for tricks though. I do think this is a good move to hit the queen and pawn. There was no need to go for this. I could have castled and been completely fine. And the idea here is I'm gonna keep on kicking the queen. I'm gonna play knight d5 here, force the queen somewhere else. If the queen goes to f3, um, I can keep I can keep pushing his pieces. Um, I think I'll play h6 there. Actually, you know, queen f3, I need to be a little bit careful. Rook c1 could be annoying. That's the problem of putting the bishop out here. Probably I should play b6. Queen f3 is actually quite uncomfortable because look at that. Queen f3, they're threatening queen takes d5 in some positions. Yeah, this is, uh, this is getting a bit messy. It's getting messy. Queen e4. All right. Uh... What should I take with? I'll take this way. I'll take there. King goes to h1. We castle. Completely, completely great position. He was threatening to take on d5. So it's good that I got my king out of the way. Yeah, uh, once I just get my bishop over to this long diagonal, there must be, there must be some type of win. Bishop e3. All right. 
just giving me another piece. Okay, and give me a rook. Is he gonna take with the queen? All right, uh, he's doing that. Um, yeah, let me play, okay, well, b6, b6 drops a rook, so maybe that doesn't actually work. Okay, I'll just trade the queens. It's simple, just trade the queens. I'm gonna bring my bishop out. He is attacking my bishop. <laughs> Parking my bishop back on an anchored square. Okay, nice, perfect. That couldn't have gone any better. He walked right into a checkmate. F4, I check, he has to block with the rook. And uh, yeah, that will be the game. It is time to go. All right, we're at 438. I'm gonna end the speed run here. Um, I'm gonna end the day of the speed run here. A speed run is gonna continue. We're, we're on the come up, of course. We're only 440. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow for day number seven. Thanks for watching. Take care.